4731 Avenida. So it looks like the next door neighbor's house is also being done. Big pile of uh, dirt out in front. And it just looks like they're starting to clean it up. Looks like it's got new windows. It's a cul-de-sac. Three car garage. Um, they built this little entrance way and you've got a front yard. It's kind of unfinished wood here. Interesting to have this be an option. So you could potentially close this off and have it be completely private here. So walking into the house. I'm just going to turn around so you can see the entrance again. So you have luxury vinyl plank on the floors. And they definitely opened up the space here. It's nice and open here. Be interesting to see how you lay out the furniture, the wine fridge, gold drawer poles, or bronze. That is finished. Seems to be the older sliding glass doors. Laundry room. Uh, lower ceilings in here. Another view of it. And then we have the garage. I do want to point out in the ceiling they have an attic access. Um, <clears throat> I know some lenders don't like that and would ask for it to be sealed up, but it is nice to have an access panel into um, that crawl space there. The hot water heater was manufactured in 2016. We do have a bathroom here. And there's a shower. No shower glass, which is pretty typical when they do these remodels to flip because it's an expense they can uh, forego. They know they're gonna sell the house anyway. And someone else will probably come in and just do what they want with it. So you have one bedroom down here. It's quite long. Interesting that you have a thermostat in this bedroom. I wonder if it's for the entire downstairs. So you have your space for your refrigerator. black cabinets, the bronze poles, soft closed cabinets. Let's see if they've got any pullouts. No pullouts. They did a nice job on putting lighting in here. You can see how many uh, can lights they have. And you can definitely pull up some stools. In this room here, oh, storage, Costco storage. So there is a staircase this way and we can come back down through the main room, which we'll do. So that's facing the front of the house. That's the backyard. We'll check that out a little bit later but let's go up the stairs. The stairs are nice in that they're a little bit wider. I don't feel like I'm claustrophobic going up the staircase. You can see right into your neighbor's yard. Like I said, I think they're fixing that one up too. So that's the door to the stairs that I just came up. Nice windows throughout, no blinds on any of these windows. So that is something you have to consider. 
and all the windows are old. See out this window. Turf in the backyard. It's, um, well, I'm sure once you get blinds, it won't feel like you're in a fishbowl, but I definitely feel like I'm looking in everybody else's yard. Okay, looks like the primary bathroom. Okay, so obviously that needs glass as well. And then we have a large closet. See the floor space. Okay. So that's interesting. So basically those stairs come straight up to the master bedroom. And then you've got this kind of loft area <clears throat> that has its own closet. And then it has a bathroom in here with double shower heads. So it's almost like you've got a bedroom um, that you can close that door off. I wonder if you could lock it. So there's two master, ba two master bedrooms. Yeah, but like this one, yeah, if you close right. off that door, then the people in here can't get into that master bedroom. Right. And then you'd have two masters next to each other. And each has a stairs up to that separate room. So it's almost like you've got two separate rooms. Yeah. Let me look at that closet. So this closet is kind of basic. It's it's a walk-in, uh, but you do have those closets over there. Okay, so there's that. And then we're back out into the living room. We have a guest bathroom here. And then more of a standard, like 11 by 12 bedroom and a little closet in the corner here. You have a couple linen cabinets here. And this would be bedroom number four, slightly bigger. I would say probably 12 by 14. Let's look at the window. Okay, and this is the stairs back down. Oh, it's weird. That first step's a little shallow. That's what I kind of, yeah, a little half step there. Hmm. I just noticed you've got a yellow door. Okay. Let's go outside. So the ceiling here is a bit low. Um, I mean, this is like right here. Here, come stand here so I can, <laughs> let me use you. Stand right underneath that white bit. Yeah, and he's 5'10". Lawn bowling. <laughs> it slopes down like yeah, now that we're so aware of water, it seems like the water would kind of come down, maybe pool around here. Uh, they did trim up that tree, which that looks good. All these trees look good. Ooh, your neighbors are good cooks. Barbecue. So it doesn't look bad, actually. You know, it looks like they might have resurfaced. It just needs to be vacuumed. You do not have a pool heater. <clears throat> and looking at this, it's like an old school timer. So at some point, I think you'd probably want to update all of that and get a maybe even a pool heater. So just kind of looking at the detail of the work. And then you've got pavers over here. It's a little uneven here. Hmm. I do like all the windows downstairs. So the sliding glass doors don't work particularly well. Um, 
I think that, you know, at, with the price point of this home, maybe you put some money into doing like one of those nano doors or something cool. Oh, that's right, yeah. So it's five bedrooms, four upstairs, one down.